so here we are we are here and it's finally arrived um run it on the 26th and it's now the oh, what is it 15th yeah that's how long it's taken to get from copart in doncaster not through their transport through my own but uh, that's a story for uh, another day it drove off the trailer and it's idled what appears to be fine now i talk like i'm slightly you know it's uh, how do you say it when you get something from copart you really don't know what you're going to get it is a risk with the money that's been spent on this but anyway let's go and sit in the car and we can have a little chat Right, so we are in the car, um, and what is there to, let's just turn these off, what is there to expect from it? So, it's been cleaned, I say cleaned, it's pretty clean, don't get me wrong, it's, this isn't like showroom condition, um, you know, the seats need proper good leather cleaner on them, um, and, you know, here, just obviously just because it's dark unfortunately um it's dark in here and therefore it's uh quite difficult to see everything but um 36 000 miles on a 16 plate condition of it's not too bad uh i mean what was it eight years old so are we talking like you know pristine no but it's it's once it's had a good clean it's not it shouldn't hopefully be too too bad so inside now i have kind of done a tiny bit of a walk around so i kind of know what i'm going to talk about now but there's always going to be potentially a little surprise uh waiting for me so um right glove box with a believe it slides but i could be wrong uh looks like i am wrong that doesn't slide i was kind of thought that that might do but uh i don't think it does no that's not sliding unfortunately the old traditional handbrake still got that and there's nothing in the glove box here that's of uh of note um nothing in door bins and of course there's no secret pockets or anything uh all electric seats they do all work and uh let's have a look up here if we've got anything nope we've got a sunroof in fact let's open up that sunroof and get a bit of uh light in here lovely cobweb up there so from the inside it appears that everything works. There's no errors on the dash, but what we probably need to do is just put the ignition on. Hopefully we're not gonna get the radio coming on. It says it's due a service shortly. I'm hoping on here we can see whether or not it will tell us anything about a service, vehicle status. So, service requirements engine oil the vehicle check service history here we go so hmm, looks like it has had a service every year since 2018 that's pretty good 05382. I'm going to assume that is the dealer code, but service carried out brake fluid. Some brake fluid. Let's have a look on here. Engine oil, microfilter. So that was in 22. Front brake pads, 21. 
Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's not too bad. Great, it started to rain. I should have done a walk around. Uh, so, yeah, so we are going to need to do... Well, it is saying engine oil. So we may have to do an engine flush on that one. Uh, but otherwise, there's no other... There's no errors coming up on here at all at the moment. So that is good. So, um... Copart did give the car with half a tank of fuel in it. So that is a bonus. Let's just turn the ignition off there. So that is something that, uh, yeah, in this day and age is, is something quite unique. Right. So um, I think that's generally going to be it. Now, what I will say, and this I think, whether or not this is the problem for the Copart car, uh, I don't know. Now, Copart said the main prim primary damage was the side. I will cover off the two biggest problems in this car um, and we'll start with the first one, which is here. Now, when this turned up, the guy, Paul, who, uh, who dropped the car off, really helpful guy, he said, you're windows aren't dropping and i can't get the mirrors to move on either side so um so i checked on this side and used that button it worked fine so that was weird now you see there's sort of a lot of orange chalk around this particular area now normally i think the orange chalk is for when they highlight areas of problems now it was a little confusing because that would indicate that there's something wrong with this. So he's priced it. So bear in mind, okay, that bless him, he could have just dropped the car and ran and he didn't. He got his tools out and he took this off and he said, he showed me this wasn't even connected into the wiring loom that's inside here. So we plugged that back in. And hey presto, it all worked. For some reason, this was all unplugged. Now, you can see here, this has all been taken apart. And if we come out of the car, because I don't think we need to be in there anymore. Actually, quick check of this. No, nothing in there. You can see that this has all been taken off and just not put back properly. So, for some unknown reason, something has happened here, and I don't know what, because there is no issues with the door, but for some reason this panel has come off. Now, I should be able to put this, because this has all been connected, so I should be able to just um sort all of this out unfortunately that's slightly been eaten and i wonder if i need to ideally repair that i need to look at that i know i can get these these but i don't know about the inner bit but anyway so um so yeah so this is all a bit peculiar so that is the first sort of what we'll call incident with this car that um i thought might be the issue so, the second part, as you know from the first video, we discussed what we thought was potentially an issue down this side. There is no damage to this door. There's no dents to it. There is, as you can see, scratch that runs here and here. It's not dented, the sit, the, it's not dented this, it's just scratched it. So you might be able to just put some filler in there, sand it back, get some filler, and then just do a little respray on it. But there's no damage to the doors. So, is this the side damage? 
or is the side damage on the front of the car? That is the question. The uh, wheels have had a bit of uh, not so much luck over the years, as you can see. They've sort of started to sort of eat away a bit of the lacquer, but the tread is good on all of the tyres. They are Bridgestones, not a massive fan of them, but uh, yeah. And then, well, what also randomly we're missing is we're missing the light uh, covers on both sides. Both sides are missing. Um, which I find a bit strange. We are also missing Hello, what's going on here? Bear with me. Might help if I undid the boot. We are missing a parcel shelf here, which um, isn't cheap to replace, let me tell you, for BMW. Underneath here, uh, there's nothing. Um, there's no, I'm trying to think, well, the, the wheel kit is normally hidden behind somewhere like that. Um, but, uh, yeah. I miss electric folding tailgates. It does have a bit of a slam to it. Um, so... These, uh, this one, this particular wheel is not particularly great, as you can see here. And again, the cover's missing from in there. And then the other cover that's missing, which is the toe eye, which immediately you think, hmm, okay, so this has been pulled from somewhere. And this number plate is, look at, look at, something very strange about that. don't understand what's gone on there and unfortunately we have a little slight dink here where I think they've hit some sort of pole let's get that out there but there's no other marks no scratches nothing to the car so I need a toe eye hook toe eye hook and a toe eye and I need two light um, arch panels in there and we are going to need potentially a um, partial shelf for this. And then we're going to need to do a tiny bit of work down there on that part of the sill. Um, as for running, as I say, the engine sounds pretty sweet. So what I'm going to do... Um, Going to remove all of this stuff on here and on, on the windscreen. The co part that's something I should have said. So, the co part label actually, god, no, I just seen there's, there was a co part label here, and I said on the video I couldn't see what the letter was. Now, strangely, the letter. I've had a look at the label and it was cut here which indicated that you couldn't tell what it was which made me think that was a bit suspicious because they've kind of clocked on to people seeing whether these are customer cars or write-offs etc now I've just seen that with the C I wonder yeah so it is a potentially a customer car so the next thing about this car being customer is on the label it said pick up um, fleet so it been has it been picked up from a fleet operation of some sort had it been left at a dealership like what you know is it a cat is it because it's a cat in it's gone to copart and that's the reason if it is a cat in where was it a cat in because again really struggling to work it out really am um I probably do need to give it a good old run to see what it's like and then I will pop back. But at the moment, from looking at it, 
and fixing the door there, I can't necessarily see any issues. So, that is the 430D Grand Coupe. And that is gonna be the end of today's little walk around video of the car. And uh, I'll obviously report back about um, the rest of the car and how it's how it's gone, how it is or how it might be or should be. And uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts and the comments on it. Again, it was a co-part. It set me back just over 10 grand for a 36,000 mile uh, 430. D. So until next time, thumbs up for the video please, comments below and I'll see you all again very very soon.